Rambler friends, wherever you are, hello, yes, I'm here again. I wanted to talk with you before you took your final exams. If everything were normal, you and I would be spending most of our time these days in Damon Student Center, or you would be in the IC, or in one of your favorite study spots, and I would be having someone distribute prayers to you. But since that's not going to happen that way, I wanted to send you a prayer anyhow, which I will say for you and with you at the end of this video. Since it is a video and being sent to you, I just want to take a few minutes to review some of the things that happened during the month of March. Some of us went to Arch Madness in St. Louis. We went there before the spring break, only to return to campus without a Missouri Conference first place. Disappointing, I know, but however, we're looking forward to next season, and we are counting on every one of you to help support us during that time. Some of you experienced immersion trips. Others did service elsewhere. Many of you spent time with your families, and all of you returned to campus by March 9th to begin the second half of spring semester. And then everything broke loose. All of you had to move out of the residence halls as soon as possible, like in one day. The study abroad students had to come home and stay in quarantine for 14 days. There was hardly a time to say goodbye to your friends and your classmates. As I sat in my office in Damon 123, I saw many touching farewells with social distancing being forgotten altogether. All of you were feeling a great loss. You left campus without knowing how you would finish the semester. March 23rd came and you received your directions for your online courses. You were probably overwhelmed. As you said to me, some of you, one would be hard enough, but when you have five, Sister Jean, it's a lot. But once you began to put your schedule into place at home, you became more organized and moved into a study mode. And your routine, even though it had a few bumps here and there, became your daily life. I trust that all went well with the assignments and that you did call upon your caring faculty when you needed any kind of assistance. Even during these days that you have been home, you have had some time, I know, to thank God for the gifts he has given you reflect about his goodness to all people and also time to pray for those affected by the virus, those who have died and those who have lost loved ones to the disease. You have had time to think and to know that the world is changing and you have to keep in mind that you are going to be very vital parts of bringing about this, these changes in society. When you return to classes in the fall, we'll be looking for those changes from you. We'll be asking you to help us to make the changes at Loyola that we need to. Hopefully these changes will bring about in our country a greater respect for and an appreciation of God's people. Bring us a closer connection to our God, a real sense of community and teamwork in all parts of the world and a revolution in society that directs digital media toward unity rather than to self-centeredness. I want you to know that through all of this, you have been in my prayers very often each day. Yes, I missed you. I miss seeing you in Damon, in Gentile, in the Hall of Fame concourse. Campus is not the same without students. And yes, I am at the Clare. No visitors. No going outside, no having meals with friends, working remotely, washing my hands frequently, taking care of myself, and waiting for all of you to return to campus in the fall. And now in the meantime, you do have those exams, and here is a lovely prayer to help you get through them. Whether the final is in the shape of a project, a paper, or an online exam, the prayer will help. And I pray, O oh God, 
Thank you for guiding me through this time of study into the final exams. I lay before you all the hopes and fears I have about the outcome. May you place peace within me now as I rest and await the results. Thank you that I am safely held in your love. And now, wherever you are, I ask that you please stand and pass along to all your new classmates across my heart hug. Amen. Go Ramblers.